I give professionals video tutorials. This tutorial, we want to continue our work from yesterday. So we were trying to open the purchase order that we just created. So I will select the supplier's name and I will select find. So it's not telling me unprocessed. So I'll now click on OK. So I click on OK, it brought out the information. So I'll just click on process invoice. So that is the next thing to select. So we want to select the process invoice. Do you want to print? I say no. So it has now processed the invoice. So assuming I want to now pay the supplier. So there are two ways. We have purchases, I pay the supplier, or I can also pay for expenses. So to make payment, you go to transaction, transaction, you now select your cash book batches. So from cash book batches, I'll now select a new batch. So under the new batch, I need to select which bank am I paying from. So it show me all the list of my banks because I've created your banks in your chart of account. So let me use GT Bank. So I now click on OK for the receivables, receivables account for payables, payables account. So I click on OK. So I click on OK. If I want to pay a supplier, this on this GL module now. If I click on the account, it shows me all the GL. So I can select the expense account that I want to pay. But if I'm paying a supplier, I'll have to select the AP for account payable. Now I'll select the supplier's name, giving me. Then the reference, let me just call it one. Description. Payment, uh, payment, payment, then how much am I paying? Let's assume I'm paying 100,000. So I'm paying 100,000. So I haven't done that. Take you are good to go. So hundred thousand. I click on enter. Enter, enter, enter. Then I can now validate this batch. To see if it's correct. So validate successfully validated. No error was found. So I can save. If I save. It has not yet posted to the ledger. But when I now click on post batch, when I post batch, now say you want to print, you know, are you sure you want to post? Because after posting, it's now permanent. There's no way you can delete your transaction. So it's now, are you sure you want to, want to post it? I say yes. So it has successfully posted. So you want to allocate, I say yes. So allocate is showing the debit and credit. There is a debit balance of 300 that we are owing the supplier based of the invoice that we, that we generated from the supplier. It's the invoice, the purchase order that we created now change it to invoice 400,000. So the payment is now 100,000. That's the balance of so we are still owing the balance of 300,000 balance. So just say allocate all. Allocate all and save. So now, still under the batches now. If I want to still post a batch for GT Bank. But I want to now post an expense. So it will now be, you to select your date. 
as applied. Then you select your expense account. So I'm posting, assuming how to pay an expense. Let's say I'm paying electricity. Let's say I'm paying electricity. So the reference can call it to then payment on electricity. Payment on electricity. Let's just say payment. Then I will now select. I will now enter the amount. Let's just five thousand. So I think that's all. Let's now validate. So I think it's fine. So that is GT Bank is the bank also. So then the payment for five thousand. I can now save. I can save and close. It has not yet affected my GL, but once I now click on post batch, it will now reflect in my GL. Are you sure? Yes. Successfully posted. So that's how to post expenses. So hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel and like the video. Thank you very much.